I think that rifle shoots better than I do. Welcome back everybody. Today we are talking about the Springfield Trapdoor Rifle, one of the most iconic American rifles ever made. If you don't agree with me, you're wrong. Now, we're gonna get into this, a little bit of the history, shooting it, and a little bit more. The Trapdoor Springfield 1884, officially known as the Model 1884 Springfield, is a significant firearm in American history, as stated before. It was a standard issue rifle for the United States Army during the later half of the 19th century and saw extensive use in various conflicts, including the Indian Wars and the Spanish-American War and the Philippine Insurrection. I have videos on those that I've done in the past if you'd like to watch them. The model 1884 was an improvement upon the earlier model 1873 Trapdoor Springfield rifle, which was the first standard issue breech loading rifle adopted by the United States Army. The 1884 model featured several modifications and improvements over its predecessor, including a new rear sight and an improved breech mechanism. The model 1884 Springfield was officially adopted by the United States Army in 1884. And there was much rejoicing. The model 1884 Springfield was a single shot breech loading rifle. It utilized the 4570 caliber metallic cartridge and had an effective range of up to 400 to 500 yards. Today, I was shooting at a target that was man-sized at 350 yards away. Operating the trapdoor rifle is very straightforward. You push the lever with your thumb, raising the trapdoor. If you have a cartridge in, it will eject it. If it is empty, you just simply raise the door, insert the cartridge, close the door, make sure the lever is set, and then you can pull the hammer back and then fire. Could be. There it is. Just off the high left. Hmm. I think I'm shooting a little too fast. gonna go to laying down. I can't tell. Like it's weird. You might be hitting the ground. You hit something. Yeah. It didn't sound like wood. It sounded like wood. That one sounded like wood, yeah. There's that hip rock right at the base. Yeah. No 
question there. Is that a, <laughs> was that a ricochet? No, I don't think so. Okay. Did you, you say it hit the ground first? No, no, no. I, I thought I heard a whiz like go off in one oh, of the. You probably heard it. Oh, I didn't know it was like a. Yeah. I didn't hear one. I didn't hear one either. You might have. But I definitely hit the metal target. And I forgot where I was aiming at. Hope I don't hit a cow. That is pretty cool. Yeah, this is, let's see, oh what, 20 rounds? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh, this is the last one, I think. You see that bounce down and hit the ground right in front of it before the sound came back? Yeah, it's so wild. <laughs> To illustrate the long service life of the Trapdoor Springfield Rifle, I hired this random man to pose in an inaccurate World War I era uniform while holding a Trapdoor Springfield Rifle and wearing a Mills belt to illustrate these rifles did in fact have a long service life well into the First World War. To make matters even worse, he's impersonating a military police officer while wearing their badge on his chest. This man was undoubtedly ahead of his time, however, he did not get the memo that the trapdoor Springfield was obsolete by World War I. These men are clearly reading my membership-only post, which is why you should become a member so that you can read the same things they are reading. As you can see here, United States Army soldiers are unleashing a volley from their trapdoor Springfield rifles in Cuba during the Spanish-American War. Here you can see soldiers of the 16th Pennsylvania Volunteers kneeling with their Springfield trapdoor rifles during the Spanish-American War. Peacetime marksmanship training was definitely hit or miss. This is a picture of Geronimo with a trapdoor Springfield carbine. It was randomly handed to him by the photographer. The trapdoor Springfield rifle played a significant role in the transition of the United States military from a muzzle-loading to breech loading firearm. While it was eventually replaced by the more modern rifles such as the Krag Yorkson and the Springfield 1903, the model 1884 remained in service for several decades and left a lasting impact on American military history. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what your favorite American rifle is and I might agree or disagree with you. I also want to thank my patrons for allowing this to be made possible. Uh, your contributions greatly help the channel bring content like this to you and to all of the viewers. So thank you. I would like to thank the 11 Bang Bang channel for allowing me to come out and shoot one of their rifles or a couple of their rifles. It was uh, very generous of them and very, uh, it was great to meet up with them and I really am very appreciative of them allowing me the opportunity to do that today and to bring something very unique to my viewers. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.